Afternoon guys, just wanted to do a video today to talk about my uh, recent tattoo, my upcoming tattoo, and some other cool developments. Um, so, last appointment we took out this under area of the, underneath the armpit there, leading down to the ribs and uh, the waist area. So we got, you know, decent sized chunk, about that much done. Uh, which is quite a bit of solid black work, but it wasn't like I was pushing my limits or anything like that It was just um, just a small appointment just to kind of get some stuff done. So we only went about 45 minutes um, Normally we do two hours once a week, but um, That was kind of just a quick like get me in kind of thing um, Where we had some space This coming appointment tomorrow. We actually have around three hours so we're going to finish off this lower section here um, pretty well uh, just from here down this tentacle and uh, up there there's still a bit of tentacle in there and uh, yeah just kind of take out that big chunk and uh, with the time we have left we're going to um, properly black out my belly button again we can get in there a little more um, people have asked me why it's not solid black and it's because I uh, I had a small cyst there that I couldn't work on it so um, it's gonna be taken care of tomorrow now well once and for all kind of thing um, if we have any time left over I'm finally gonna be taking this guy out and uh, this little lacrimosa tattoo um, I still love those tattoos but uh, they just don't they don't work for the broader concept anymore so it's it's finally gonna be time to say goodbye um, this guy, as much as I love him, he's not done very well. I've never really done a real focus on him, but he's not in there really solid. He's kind of, you know, whatever. Um, honestly, that could have been a much bigger piece, and he probably would have looked better. But uh, it is what it is. Uh, uh, this guy is exactly as he's supposed to be. So I've been on the fence about getting rid of those for, a, like, I don't even know how long, like two years? Because this is part of my original, um, the, this was the first thing I ever blacked out was this right arm. Um, so, this has kind of stood the test of time as far as anything else is concerned. I mean, it's there aren't many big pieces left on me. So, this is going to be kind of a, uh, a moment getting rid of these. But, um, I am planning on doing, before my artist leaves town, my other palm. So, I have this palm now and that's only one pass if anyone's wondering it's in there really really good for one pass there's just this one spot where it's the line is a little broken up so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put this guy on here so he still gets to be part of my um suit in some way but just not really central anymore so it's gonna look a lot cleaner without that stuff over here um eventually spawn and the moon might end up going too uh, spawn before the moon but the moon certainly might go to it's just it's gonna be more and more centralized about uh, the main elements here these guys are gonna get reworked I've mentioned before and uh, the teeth are also gonna get reworked um, these little skulls here will have to get reworked too just so that they match up better and they don't get so washed out by uh, all the heavy black around it um, obviously my nipples are looking fairly dark now. They might take one more pass while I'm in that area. That would be the sixth time if I do it. It's the kind of thing that uh, you just keep working on. Um, if you want your nipples to be real dark, you have to hit them. You may be willing to hit them multiple times. Um, this guy up here, he's getting touched up probably in another two months. Because he's uh, not nearly as crisp as he once was. Um, the thing about head tattoos is, since you have hair, you know, you don't really see, like, the skull. And, uh, if it does fade at all, you won't really know until you shave. So that was kind of a, a sad surprise to me, uh, to see that he had washed out just a bit. But, still cool, it's just, he's not what he can easily be. Um, so I'll do a session on that, and I'll make him probably quite a bit darker than he was to begin with. Not because I want him to be darker so much as because if he does lighten up then uh, he'll his lightened up form will still be darker than he ended up this time. So essentially if, what I'm trying to say is if I 
grow my hair back in, say, and I have it for a couple of years, I shave it off. If I go quite a bit darker, the odds are he will lighten up, but if he lightens up, um, if you go darker than you intend him to end up being, there's a good chance that he'll end up kind of where you, uh, he'll kind of end up in a medium ground of uh, still darker, but lightened up a bit over time. So um, the old line, uh, bold will hold. Uh, if you go in dark, um, there's a good chance that it'll end up lighter than you go. So um, if you want a tattoo that's sort of in a medium range, shoot for a little darker than you planned for. Um, same as uh, anytime you get shading, it always looks darker than it ends up healing. So, two weeks from now, I believe it's two weeks, two or three weeks from now, I'll be getting my uh, my hand touched up again. I've talked about it a few other times. Um, so when I do that, because um, I'm crazy, I'm gonna do this guy over here on my palm um, because. I've got some, I think I've got six days booked off for that, so I'm never going to get six days where I don't have a vacation plan with my son or um, something with my wife or something, so this is six days strictly for tattoos, so I figure if I'm going to be screwing up one of my hands, I may as well get the other one too, because I'm just going to be laying in bed anyway, healing one, may as well heal both of them and uh, get them both done, so yeah. That's kind of my uh, my plan for two weeks from now. And uh, the third week from now, I believe I'll just be doing touch-ups on my torso. So all of up here has been done, touched up. I'll need to touch up my stomach and stuff uh, and my ribs because that's never going to be as solid as it can be over one pass. So we'll get all of that done. And then uh, from there, we're just going to be Touching up the head on the back is a little bit too light back here, and we'll be touching up uh, uh, these skulls, the head, skull, you know, all that stuff. Uh, the hand, obviously, hopefully third pass, we'll be able to get these knuckles saturated. Um, otherwise, yeah, um, we'll be eventually heading down to my legs, I would say within three months. People keep asking me what my plan for my legs is. I just posted a picture um, today of that had my legs in it and uh, I didn't actually get as many. I, I thought I'd get a lot of, wow, you don't have as many tattoos on your legs, but really people are still pretty impressed with actually how many tattoos are there because I don't share them off often and they're like 80% covered. They're just not spaces in between aren't filled. So, um, but yeah, those will be on the menu probably all of next year I'll spend blacking out one or two of my legs depending on how fast we get going and uh, yeah so another thing that I wanted to talk about was I've said my artist is leaving the city um, in October so that's drill true he's still leaving but uh, my last appointment um, he mentioned the possibility of me coming to Pierce for um, his store that he's leaving because well, initially he offered, um, you know, have you thought about such and such city, the city he's moving to. And um, I really can't move. My son has too much going on here. So um, sadly, as much as sometimes I'd like to move, I'm uh, kind of rooted in this city. So um, he kind of offered, uh, since his wife does the piercing at his store, what if she trained me to pierce and I took over the piercing there? And it would be great with my platform and... I know a lot about the industry and I know a lot about piercings and stuff already so it seems like a kind of a like a, a really obvious answer to a problem that they have uh, is to instead of uh, finding someone outside of uh, the industry or finding someone random and new why not use someone you have close by and already knows you and um, clearly is interested in this stuff right it's kind of a Good for both parties um, the only thing for me is I need a certain amount of income to live and uh, I'm not exactly sure if it'll be better for me financially or not but where I'm at in life I'm fairly comfortable um, on what I make I could even go with a little less I could make a little less and still be cozy so for me it's um, 
It's about finding out how much I'll be able to make doing it. Um, realistically, how much I can plan to make doing it in this city. Um, what, how busy it will be. And then it'll be about um, figuring out if it's something I would leave my current job for or if it's something that I would potentially um, just sort of maybe drop a day where I work now and um, pick up a couple days where I pierce. Because um, honestly, it's something I've been... I've been interested in piercing for a long time, but as far as uh, getting an apprenticeship goes, it's sort of... Um, it's the kind of thing that you have to be... You have to kind of be asked or else you just kind of there's no in like it's not like you go to apply for a job at McDonald's you know you don't just go to apply for a job at a piercer I mean most shops will have their one or two piercers and that's all they need and most places those people stay around until they find someone and they ask them and they kind of replace themselves so it's not really an easy uh, um, thing to just kind of get into there's been a couple of other times throughout um, my life where I actually was offered an apprenticeship at a shop in 2008, but uh, at the time it was kind of right before my piercer left and it just didn't work out. There was another time, uh, another shop, I kind of wanted the apprenticeship. I knew that there was an apprenticeship they were going to have to do soon because their one artist was leaving and uh, it just ended up that I didn't get it. And it wasn't like I was super heartbroken. I have a decent job. I make good money now. It's just, it's a cool thing. It's it's akin to my interests, and it, it would be nice to not have to work in the back. Um, obviously, when you're heavily modified, like I am, you're gonna be back a house for the most part. So that's been my whole working life has been in the back. I don't necessarily love dealing with customers either. But the idea of being presentable in my occupation is kind of interesting to me. Um, instead of being someone who has to kind of hide out in the back, you, uh, you're in an industry where uh, obviously if you're getting pierced by a guy that looks like me, it feels, well, that's about right. You know, of course he's a piercer, you know, kind of thing. Um, most people that message me on Instagram assume I'm a tattoo artist. I have one guy who... Uh, he actually asked me the other day, he didn't even ask me um, if I was or anything, he just said, so uh, what are your rates? Where do you work out of? And I said, uh, I work at a Humpty's. Uh, I'm such and such an hour and I make the best omelet you're gonna get. <laughs> it was pretty funny to me um, just to give him that sort of an answer because it's like, I'm sure he just expected that I'm like this, huge tattoo artist or something just because of the way I look but no there are other jobs for guys that look like me um, if you have a skill like mine I've been cooking for 17 years almost um, it makes you kind of infinitely employable um, one thing that a guy told me years ago was there's only two things that people always have to do and always will have to do that's shit and eat so Either be a plumber or be a cook. <laughs> that was good advice for me because uh, I've never been unemployed. I know as much as people say that all this stuff is a job stopper, if I lost the job I have today, I have no fear that I would have another one as early as a few days from then, if I wanted. In fact, there was a time when I was, I was looking for a different job just kind of for some personal reasons, not for financial reasons. I was just kind of feeling burned out where I am and um, kind of spread my legs out, looked around at what was available. The first interview I did, the guy was chopping my hand off trying to get me to work for him. He was, when can you start? Like, <laughs> uh, just because of my reliability. I, I mean, I've been working at the same place for 13 years almost and I've done everything there and I've risen through the ranks there. Um, because of that uh, history, because of how reliable I am, um, and obviously I'm, I'm good at what I do too. I mean, I'm not, it's whatever, right? But um, in the industry I'm in, uh, your work consistency and how long you've been around matters a lot to prospective employers in the future. So I'm not 
ever worried about where I would work necessarily. It's just the piercing is something that would be a lot more interesting to me. Uh, right now, the, the work that I do, it's not that I dislike it or that I'm not passionate about it. It's, it's not really for me. It's just, it's a good income and I have to pay my bills. So, you know, I got a mortgage, I got a son, I got, I'm married, right? You have bills. Um, rarely in life were you presented with an option to do something you're passionate about as a way to make money. Uh, that's sort of what's on the table for me if it works. Um, so I'm going to be getting some books and stuff to kind of do some homework tomorrow, I believe. That's what they said. Um, after that, I have to get my bloodborne pathogens, CPR, and first aid. And uh, then we talk about training. And yeah, we go from there. So probably in my next few videos, I'll uh, update and let people know where that's going and how that's progressing. Uh, and uh, wish me luck with it, because uh, it would be really cool. It would be something that, it would be really cool to use uh, my Instagram platform to kind of promote to, not so much because it's like, oh, I'm gonna get business in here or anything like that. Just, it would be a good asset and good kind of carry on for that too. It kind of works in all ways for me. Um, it, it seems like a no brainer. And uh, I was pretty honored when they talked to me about it. So hopefully that will progress. Hopefully it's not just a fart in the wind or whatever. <laughs> hopefully it's not just hot air or, or whatever else. Um, Cause yeah, I, I think I would make my life about that. I really do. I mean, I, I've already lived the life of a body modded person. It would be nice to um, push that out into the world to kind of give back and, and have my wealth of experience and my uh, my intrigue in, in this world um, personally become professional as well. So yeah, let me know uh, what you think about that and uh, if you have any advice or anything like that. And uh, maybe let me know what you think about my new palm tattoo idea or uh, tell me if you think I'm crazy for uh, getting my fingers tattooed and my palm tattooed on the other hand. <laughs> it's not the first time I've done that, actually. Uh, just a quick sidebar before I wrap this up. Um, right before my wedding, this hand had problems um, all over the knuckles. The ink had fallen out from a bad infection I had a few years ago. Um, and I was letting it heal for a long time, but I didn't want this hand to look bad for my wedding because it looked like these, well, these knuckles here kind of look like these knuckles when I bend my hand. So they weren't even as good as that, say. Um, and I did not want that to be the case for my wedding photos. Um, so even though there was tons of scar tissue there, um, I wanted to get it touched up for my wedding. So we did that. But not only did we do that, since for my wedding I had two weeks off, that's when I got my palm tattooed too, because when am I going to get two weeks off again, right? So not only did I touch up this scarred, like really badly scarred hand, which hurt like hell um, to tattoo over, but we also did the palm tattoo that day too. So this will actually be the second time I've done both hands in one day, but um, I'd only advise doing something like that if you had a big stretch of time off planned um, because then obviously you're not going to be using your hands too much anyway this was a lot longer than I planned it to be I had a lot to kind of ramble about and get off my mind so hopefully it's not too too boring for people um, I always wonder if people are actually watching all of these videos and again I'm not like trying to blow up on YouTube or get super famous on YouTube my Instagram platform is big enough that it's a, a headache enough some days so I think having both go that way would be maybe a little bit too much for me. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you enjoy these videos, uh, be sure to share them with your friends and follow me at Afemo Remy on Instagram. And uh, have a good day.